Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today. I'm Edna Matsuoka, and together with Reverend Yasu Hiroyano, we'll be conducting the monthly appreciation service for the month of September. Please join us in prayer. Thank you. Mediation Prayer, page 2. Let us seek the signification of the healing of the world, I say, sincerely and unfortunately, each and every day. But receive the mediation of the truth, with all our hearts and souls, on the stage of this very moment. The Ami Kongo, that is in Samadhi, the Ami Kongo, that is in Samadhi, the Ami Kongo, that is in Samadhi, the Ami Kongo, that is in Samadhi. Purification prayer. Through the prayer of mediation, may all our sincere apologies be acceptable to you, our Lord Divine Purim. We are acknowledged our sensation in our companions, the arrogance and ignorance of your divine freedom. We apologize for all our shortcomings and unreverence and passion and devotion. Guide us to amend our way of living to reflect your divine will. With a pure, joyful, and loving heart, always one with you. Hammy prayer. Reverently we pray the brilliance of the and the riches of the earth. Time flows without a cease, years pass without an end. In heaven and earth is a life that nurtures all. In heaven and earth is a truth that holds us all. For these wondrous door, for these wondrous works. Let us praise Him, Chief Honey, Let us praise the divine parent of the universe. How He loves and cares for all humanity, all those who live between heaven and earth, to revere coming of the divine parent, to live from these infinite blessings to see the way. Yet many not knowing the way are lost in the beauty of the selfishness. This is our cycle of misfortune with this coming sorrow. Our founding father, whom called Daiji, suffered many trials in this world by the hand of God to fit necessarily. He received Kami's great blessings and Yanga life for mutual fulfillment of our humanity. Humbly we pray the divine and great wish for us fulfilled. From whom God has been accepted the ultimate mediation that leads to the mutual benefit of Kami and humanity. By day he taught the way of faith to all who sought him, expounding the blessings of all them in the earth, the kingdom of the heavenly Lord of the night. By night he prayed for those who grieve, seeking salvation for all who suffer, and he did not the dying of the day. 
though he has passed from mortal to change, he did not fear from these paths, but he passed the past of mediation. Thus was given the sacred energy of his character, the guiding principle of our daily life, the divine favor that was given him, and what he was no longer Establishing the way of prosperity, the reunion of the unborn children, all these wonderful creations we are given now to the way. Through all the hardships in this world, the way of body and soul, the way of creation teaches us which are not of the family. With our regard for day and night, with a will and a power, the way of creation teaches us to pray with those of us. For well, even if I find great favor, we have our sincere apologies and pledge to mend our ways. Let us live our faith every day, seeking and rejoicing in our own favor. Let us care for those in pain and invite them to the way. Let us guide those who are lost and deliver them for life or purpose. Come and fulfill in us the idea of our freedom. May this way of mutual fulfillment. May communist wish for truth, well being of all people, be fulfilled. May hungry prayers be May such prayer of monthly service obtain deep communion from the prayers of the Kyabikon Kowalaiki, the life of Tinti Kaidokan, on behalf of the Hong Kong Mission Waki Oa, Arias Giano, and I say the following prayer. We gather here the early state, September 1st, 2024, for monthly service. For the life of NT Kaino Kai. This service received to all of and extend our sincere appreciation of NT Kaino Kai for the infinite blessing we enjoy. Divine good of NT Kaino Kai, which has been revealed to humanity in 1873, okay. although people live between heaven and earth, the unaware of Kami's blessings. Shrines, temples, and houses, all sound of Kami's plan. Without wearing this, people consult the daily directions, and that this respect of Kami, this suffer, hardship, should be no offenses. Kenji Gairo Kami, as a Kami Konko like, to provide blessings and teachings so that one can make prosper. Kami is Kami because of people. The people are people. Because of Kami, for the fulfill through this principle of mutual relationship, the life of Tenchi Kaino Kami allows the people and all living things in the world to live. Kami has provided the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we party, the materials we use, the clothes we wear, the shell we live in, the land we live on, the sun which shines upon us, the rain we form. All other elements make up the world. The life of Tenchi Kai no Kami has a Kyari Konko Kai to save humanity. This year marks 165 years since Tenchi Kai no Kami revealed the victory of Shinto, or the divine call to Konko Kai and his son on October 21st, 1859. Kyari Konko Kai has been sent to bestow blessings upon all humans. To make us realize Kami's wishes, to bring us lasting prosperity for generations, and to create a world for existence. And mutual interdependence, wherein humans help Kami and Kami help humans. 
the both of them. Critical mediation, which has been initiated by the Kunko writing, has guided and aided everyone to the West to write in autonomy and mutual interdependent relationship between community and people. The branch churches and the headquarters in Kunko town have been established throughout the territory and as well as Hawaii and throughout the world. This church has been founded by the late Reverend Haruko Takahashi in 1940 as a branch of the Kongo Mission of Group. We like to extend appreciation to the founding minister of this church, Reverend Haruko Takahashi, for the spread of the true way of faith in this service, the foundation of the church, and to work of Amitama Spirit, who has guided us in the operation of the church in the last 84 years. I pray that the six future head in Hong Kong organization, Reverend Kinoichi Konko, will continue to enjoy good health, that the world of great mediation will continue to expand, and that all of this endeavor will be fulfilled and be blessed in all aspects of activities and time. I pray that this church in Wahiwa will continue to expand the number of church houses in actualization of the divine mediation growth in each video with expression in the faith community and outreach activity. Please accept the many offerings and prayers placed before you as tokens of appreciation and sincere gratitude for all the blessings we have continued to enjoy as well. We earnestly pray that the world peace and harmony will be fair and human suffering will be eased through actualization of the universe's destiny. No one is aware of the blessings the heaven enters, which enable people to live. Calm shall our people become aware of the blessings of heaven in the earth. The Holy Kong of life evolved throughout the world. Of searching in every country of exertion. Finally, you pray that you grant the first service not only to those who are but to those who are here with us today. Thank you. 
教神殿。この平気に境に声配差し止めるからその分に承知してくれ。外家業だし、農業へで人が願いで呼びに来戻り、<笑>願いが済みまたの上でまたも呼びに来農業する孫なし、下足も町両方の差し支えにあいなる、なんと家業をやめてくれぬか。その法四十二歳の年には病気で医師も手を離し、心配だし、神仏に願いをかけて全開だし、その時死んだと思うてよくお話し、天地狩りの神を助けてくれ、家内もご気になったと思うてくれ、ご気よりまし者を言われ相談もない、子供を連れて大友と農業をしおってくれ、この方のように実に天に神信じいたしおる事故は、世間に何本も難儀なお事故あり、取り次ぎ助けてやってくれ。神も助かり、うじこも立ち行く、うじこあっての神、神あってのうじこ、繁盛いたし、つえつえ、親にかかり、子にかかり、愛をかけよで立ち行く Divine message received on November 15, 1859, page 70. Let's read this together. With the completion of this sacred s t a f f o and your farming career, please understand. We know our farming, the person at home has to go out and call you whenever someone comes to give a request. And after you relay your request, you have to go back up again. You have to keep going in and out of the field. This gives you little time for farming, and the worshiper must also wait for you. Both you and the worshiper are being inconvenienced. Won't you stop f r m i n g When you're a great deal at it, it will be paid off and paid off hope. Everyone worried about you. You pray to the Kamis and Buddhas who are blessed with complete recovery. Regardless, you meant that you're dead. Dispel all desires and subsistence you can in the m e n t All we are wise to consider ourselves as a widow. This is better than being a real widow, as she can still talk to you and discuss matters. She should take the children with her and really farm more. There are many people like yourself who have sincere faith in Kami, but still have many problems. To help these people by performing mediation, this will help Kami and save people. People exist because of Kami, and Kami exists because of those people. Thus, Kami supports people and Kami is rich with them, and people support Kami and their parents. The only eternal prosperity is due to Ayukakiyo, real children of the city. The Konko Faith Art Creed, page 73. We believe in Tenchi Kami no Kami, the divine parent of the universe. Our founder, Konko Daishi, embraced Kami revelation and the divine mediator with the answer to all teachers of initiation. Our continued goal from moment to moment is to realize Kami within each of us. We are fulfilled in Kami, Kami is fulfilled through us. The happiness of everyone is Kami's greatest wish. We give thanks for Kami's blessings, mysterious, wondrous, and amazing. Blessings begin in our own hearts, hearts full of harmony and joy. We pray more heartily to Kami, today and every day, trusting Kami as our loving parent, finding peace of mind. We live our faith in service to Kami, each other, and our world, nurturing the nurture, mutually fulfilled. For those who have gone before us, fear is one way of Kami, caring for us as each other. We respect and appreciate other paths taken by humanity to a spiritual fulfillment. fulfillment. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today in person and listening on Facebook Live.、Um, earlier, well, during the whole service, you can hear, I think,、uh, the chickens squawking in the background the whole time. And when we got to the Mitama altar, Sensei told my mom, Reiko Sensei, hush the chickens. <laughs> I was like, uh oh, it's going to get loud because every time somebody goes outside to hush the chickens, They go crazy, even more crazier than they were.
So I thought, oh no, you're gonna hear more on uh, on the mic. <laughs> So I thought, oh, I wonder how, what my mom's going to do to hush the chickens up. And I was surprised how quiet they became. <laughs> and I was like, wow, my mom, Ilano Reiko Sensei, really understands the, the kokoro, the heart of the chickens. And, <laughs> and uh, there's a teaching in Kung Fu Dai Jin's teaching that says, do not even be despised by cats or dogs. And uh, believe me, those chickens love my mom. They run away from my dad. <laughs> so, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, so anyways, uh, good morning again. Once again, today is the 1st of September. It's the monthly appreciation service for Tenchi Kani no Kanisama, the life force, the, the energy that sustains all life, gives us life, and sustains. And, well, today, as you all know, the 1st of the month is usually my mom's turn. <laughs> did a sermon. So I called her up this morning <coughs> and I said, oh yeah, Okasan, today is the first. Isn't it your turn to do the sermon? <laughs> and she said, um, I think my dad answered the phone first. He said, no, 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 no. You have to talk today. <laughs> April says is not prepared. <laughs> that she expects me to talk because it's a Sunday. <laughs> but today I would like to share a message. Uh, so monthly service, uh, the Osuitachi, the first of the month. It's a service to also pray for this brand new day, brand new month of 2024. This month cannot get any more newer than it is at this moment right now. So we're here to give thanks. It's more, uh, it's important to give thanks not just once a year on New Year's Day, but every month, every week, every day, and every moment you can. The moment we catch ourselves being negative, it's a slippery slope down the rabbit hole of negativity. But before that, we have to catch ourselves and stop that cycle somehow, some way, and go towards the light instead of the darkness. Because it's easy to get into the darkness. It really is. And to tell you the truth, my heart actually has been quite negative this past, for this past week. And it, it's from a simple renovation project for the Konko Mission of Wahiwa and the residents. Mm -hmm. And as you may know or may not know, this church was once a military housing, this church or Hinomai section. And the back part, which is the house uh, residence for the senses, um, I believe was built in the mid 50s. So this church at least is about at least 80 years old. And the residence is at least in the 70s, 70, 70 year old. So the wiring has worked very strong, very hard for us until this day. And it's not like we have black house anywhere or nothing. It's still working for us, so it's still it's amazing. This place was built really well. And I want to thank the structure. And I want to thank the carpenters that built this place. But as old as the electric wiring is on this structure, we continue to use it up and use it until this very day. And it gets older as the days pass by. And it's made so well that it la it's lasting until 2024. Can you believe it? Something before World War II is lasting till 2024. You see how well this place is made? It's amazing to think about it. it this wiring is even standing up to the Wi-Fi connections, the computers, the smart TVs, the larger appliances. It's holding up somehow, some way. It's a miracle. It's a big blessing. And in a higher demand area, though, um, we are pretty much forcing the electricity to conform to the modern times by daisy chaining strips, uh, wire, wire strips, uh, electric strips, uh, extension cording over extension cording, which, you know, it's a, it's a fire hazard. And it's been an ongoing concern of mine for several years, actually, not something recent. I've always been looking at the wiring and saying, oh no, this is dangerous, this is dangerous. We shouldn't be daisy chaining so much like this. We shouldn't be connecting all these extension cords just to make it, uh, just to try to funnel that electric to other higher demand areas. And it's, uh, so I've already consulted several electricians from the past for several years now. But due to the complexity of the permitting, and process it has been very difficult and I wouldn't have known it to be this difficult. Um, because our building here is a combination of both commercial and residents, obtaining the electricians 
are not willing to go through the process, the very tedious, cumbersome process of obtaining uh, an engineer's work. We need a, they say we need to hire an electric engineer, and they're not willing to go through a cumbersome process of helping us. So I have been discouraged many times, one after another. Uh, one of them, he, he never contact me, contacted me again. He came, he looked at all the rooms in the church and the house, and he said, okay, I'm gonna get a quote ready for you. But he never got back to me. He never texted me, never answered my calls. I could never reach him ever again. We got ghosted. And I'm not, so another electrician I called not too long ago, he said it to me straight, I said, this is our situation. It's a combo of a house and commercial. <laughs> he, 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 he told it to me straight. He's like, no one would want to rewire your place. No one. I don't want to. He said that. He said it to me straight up, I don't want to rewire your place. Unless you have $100,000. Do you have that kind of money? He told, he told me. And I was like, no. And he's like, I don't think so. <laughs> it was like, wow, that's so rude. But it's true, yeah, we don't have $100,000 to fix the wiring. He further mentioned that it will be a two-year job to do this project, to do things right without any loopholes. And we don't want to go through the loopholes. We want to do things right the legal way. We need to hire an electrical engineer and have him draw up the entire plan, and it's, gonna, and it's not going to be cheap. That's what he said. So I thought, oh, great. This church is just going to last up until the structure can last. We don't have the financial resources to shell up $100,000. That's a lot of money. So as a temporary solution, we can only put up like six plugs, uh, three prongers throughout the house, the church, uh, in the higher demand area. So at least we're not daisy chaining. At least we're not ex like using extension cording to cover house this situation. It's still a hazard because it's like a band-aid. Uh, sooner or later, we are going to have to rewire some way, somehow. And because the wire is getting older as the day goes by. So somehow, either that or we just are going to have to take care of this place until the end of its time, until the end of its structural integrity. It makes sense why so many locals are moving out of Hawaii and transferring to the mainland where the cost of living and the cost of fixing things is much cheaper and reasonable. But we get to be here in beautiful Hawaii. You know, all, all these rich and famous people, they come to live in Hawaii for the retirement and for like a second house. We're very, very fortunate. Hawaii is a very beautiful place and I love Hawaii and I love comfortable Wahiwa as well. This church has been able to exist for 84 years. It's a great blessing. It's a miracle, really, because this church was at the brink of closing down after the passing of the founding minister, Reverend Haruko Takahashi. But then there was a church member back in those days where she demanded, no, we gotta keep this church open. But not one single person who had the heart to say no, don't close this church down. I don't care who you call, you're gonna call a minister to take over this church. And boom, my parents came. They're only 26 years old. <laughs> 26, you know, if you see 26 years old, you're like, yeah, yes. <laughs> but as young as they were, they were called over to take over the church. And here we are today. So people, you know, people over the years, over these 47 years, extra now, have received blessings and teachings from this church, which has saved them some way, somehow. So it's a bonus 47 years. And here we are at another notch and another challenge where my faith has been tested, our faith has been tested, and the life of this church is unknown. Yeah, it's unknown. But when I think about it, the life of the church has always been unknown. Yeah, if you think about it. We came here up until this moment in time, and I want to share with you a very inspirational case that just happened yesterday at work. Uh, my workplace inspires me. The patients I encounter really inspire me. She has been, a uh, patient has been diagnosed with stage four cancer, and she told me, wow, it just, 
kid suddenly. I was having pretty much the time of my life. Everything was normal. Uh, I felt like I was on top of the world. I was happy. One medical problem led to another, and we found out I had stage four cancer. Mm -hmm. And now my life is unknown. And I was like, how? <laughs> Can you imagine the, the burden you feel? Everything is perfectly fine, you're happy, went on trips, ate delicious food, spent time with your family, one little thing led to another, and boom, you find out you have stage four. Wow. I saw this, my, what, what I was you know, worrying about is nothing. It's not even an issue. But I was like, I'm sorry. But she said, she gave me hope. This, now, this stage four cancer patient gave me hope. Mm -hmm. She said she asked the doctor, okay, when am I going to go? You know, how long more do I have left to live? Guess what? The doctor said, I am not the one to decide that. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that is a very good response by the doctor. Very good response. Because the moment the doctor gives the prognosis, oh yeah, you only have three more months to live. You only have one more month to live. Then that's it. Your mentality is going to be, okay, I only have a month to live. So you're not going to try to fight any more than that one month. And when that one month passes, you're not going to have any more hope left to live. Your purpose will be defeated. But she said, when the doctor says he's not the one to decide, it gave her hope. And I was like, oh, I'm not the one to decide the fate of this church. Kami Sama is. And for her case too, Kami Sama is the one that decides when she goes or not. And she told me, you know, even if people have stage four cancers, there have been cases, miracle cases. There have. You know, you search on Google. Do, do stage four cancer patients, you know, are there any uh, cases where stage four cancer patients go into remission. Yes, there is. It's not guaranteed that you're gonna die within a few years. Some people, they go to complete remission. It's like, wow, the cancer is like gone. How does that happen? How can you explain that? Yeah. So she really gave me hope. She has a lot of uncertainties yet. So because she gave me hope, I gave her hope back. And I said, okay. Let's focus on what you want to do. I know you're sick right now, but how do you want to get better? And when you are better again, what do you want to do? We are purpose-driven humans, creatures. So if you have some kind of purpose in life, what you really, really want to do, then maybe your body will heal towards that goal. And she said, oh, I, I want to see my nurses, my, not nurses, but my nieces graduation. And I said, okay, good, that's a good goal to focus on. Are you gonna get better? Like, imagine yourself getting better now. And I said, you have to think like an Olympic medalist. And she was like, huh? What do you mean Olympic <laughs> medalist? I said, you know what Olympic medalists, you know what kind of mentality they have? They imagine their victory using all senses what they can hear, what they can see, what they can smell, everything. And she said, oh. So I said, okay, your niece's graduation. It hasn't happened yet. What are you going to see? You see lots of people in the stadium. Visualize. You're going to see your niece in the chapping gown. You're going to see blaze piled high. You're going to smell the flowers. Many, many people are blaze. You're going to hear the band playing, this graduate singing their graduation song. I don't know what you're going to taste, but you can taste maybe like the after party, like at the graduation party food or like whatever. And you can feel in your soul how happy you're going to be in that moment, right? And I said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I said, envision that. Envision all that happening for you and repeat it over and over and over again. And maybe somehow, some way, you're going to be able to attend your niece's graduation. 
So she was like, oh, wow, thank you for giving me that book. Because she gave me that book. I was like, oh, I got to offer something back. But, you know, through all these challenges and uncertainty, Kami Sama has still provided. The blessings continue. And we can still use the lights, right? We still have light today. 1980, um, 80 plus year wiring now, we can still use the electricity today. That's so amazing. And the more I think about these blessings, I become more grateful and hopeful that even in these situations that seem so uncertain, Kami-sama, Konko-sama continues to deliver hope and blessings to us and the congregation. So we are just caretakers of this church, our family. We own nothing. So this residence, this church, has no ownership to us in our name. It belongs to the Kong Commission of Washington. It's a community's church. And the future of the church is in the hands of all who cared about the church, the past and present, you and I. And, and I want to thank all of you who have continued to think about this church, who have come to love our church, and who still worship here. Please continue to care about this church. And I encourage you to support the church in whatever way is possible or to continue to be a beacon of hope for, the, for, the, for us, for the future. Help in any way you can, financially, volunteering, your talents, any way you can. Because it's you, it's us, that will continue to keep this church alive into the next generation. Yeah? Something to think about. Thank you again for all your support and prayers. That I wish I Thank you for having us today. Uh, as Linda Sensen said about the rewiring of the electricity. Uh, we did a fact we need somebody to maintain the joint building. 
is a fact we give some money. Uh, but money can be used for the maintenance, review, doing any project. Uh, but when I think of the spending money, we are one of the biggest concerns in the faith community, the Hong Kong Mission, Hawaii, and in the, in the Cape Mainland, KCNA, uh, one of the biggest vital element of concern is the protection. And ministers, local ministers, they want to try to produce local born ministers. But this cannot be done by spending money. If we can produce a minister by spending one hundred thousand dollars, we can do it. But money alone cannot produce a minister. Money can fix any problem of the church. It can be done by by getting back by getting money. But producing a minister cannot be done. It's not only for the Congo, mean Congo community, but any Buddhist church, Christian church, they cannot produce minister by spending money. That should be something vital, fundamental element in production, not production, raising a person to be a minister. It can be a hero for the child believers when they come to church. You can evolve to be a true Congo believer. The child can spend so many of money, you are going to become Congo believers. It can be, it can be easy done, but this is not a uh, fraction. Actually, we have produced three children to become Congo ministers. This is one of the, can be a hero in the community. But about, about, about 20 years ago, when I attended the funeral service at Midland uh, Memorial, one of the attendants, a uh, uh, person who was in charge of the uh, funeral service, said that we just think, oh, our children are three of our children are going to meet. What? <laughs> <laughs> so surprised. It, it, it can't be a miracle. You know, there's we have spent maybe 47 years in upbringing our children to become home to a minister. So you are enjoying the product of a maybe a dedication. That's a dedication. It can be done. One of the ministers in local ministers said, this is America. It is impossible to educate our children, Mr. Minister, Minister children to be home for minister, it's impossible. So I see this. They cannot produce. They cannot guide them to be home for minister. Even though they do not follow them, their parents will believe home for minister. Because it is impossible. The basic thought is it is impossible to let the children to learn home for their faith. Let the children to follow the conquer of his own spirit. But I have been convinced we need to educate, we need to let our children to become conquer ministers. It's our conviction and try to actually conviction. So we have produced successful We are we don't have any much money to produce our children to become ministers. But our children become so much good. Oh, our parents are so poor. <laughs> but they become good for ministers. Um, the sensei, Amagigo sensei, the second generation of uh, Yasuki Fumio sensei, used to say, some church believe, church uh, produce, even though they are not that uh, foolish fish, but even a very poor state of uh, church could have produced 
very period of Hong Kong period based on the ministerial condition. They always never never uh, I should say, say any neg negativity or negative thought about Hong Kong theory. Oh, Hong Kong is so strange, so difficult. They never say that. They pray Right. <laughs> this semester was so uh, my uh, the previous Be a good artist. Be a good attorney, number one. 
When preparing a legal case, if you believe that you are doing it for kami and pray, you will get fresh, creative ideas and find a way to solve the case that you just could not solve with human capacity alone. 2. Do not practice law just for the sake of becoming wealthy. Serve kami and help people for the sake of justice and humanity. Uh, number 3. Kami does not hate anyone, even criminals. Defend criminals with a warm heart <clears throat> in the hope that you can help them and Reveal the heart of Kami to them. Rely on Kami's love and try to spiritually save those accused. Uh, number four, if criminals truly repent their crimes, the law will take that into consideration and Kami will forgive them. True repentance rather than deceit will help one receive a more lenient sentence. Wait, five, if you pray to Kami while defending your client, creative arguments will come to you that will move both judge and jury. Be a lawyer to help Kami all things that take place between heaven and earth, all the workings of God. A farmer's work is most closely related to the blessings of heaven and earth. Without sunlight, air, water, and soil, farming would not be possible. Always remember that you are able to farm only with the blessings of God. Mm -hmm. Crops continue to grow even when the farmer is not yet so us. Soon enough, they will believe that you are known uh, for using the crops. All crops are produced through the golden of peace. Everything including farming, you know, fertilizer, your hands, your feet, and blessings to the sun. Without farming, you cannot be a おはようございます。モーニング。ソリー。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
ありがとうございました。Thank you. Have a good week. Bye bye. Oh, a、uh, reminder. My mom says、um, next week, Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, this coming Saturday actually, on September 7th,、uh, we will have a K Mish gathering at the Konko Mission of Honolulu. It's going to be from 1 30 p.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. And、uh, we will also recognize outstanding、uh, members. And there will also be speakers from Wahiwa,、uh, Waipahu Church, and Wailuku Church. So, if we can come in person, that'd be really awesome. We'll have refreshments as well、It's、at the k o n k o Mission of Honolulu again、uh, this coming Saturday, September 7th, from 1 30 to 3 o'clock p.m. Please join us.、Uh, from Wahiwa Church, Trisha、uh, Atkinson will be speaking. And、uh, Waipahu Church will be Mr.、Uh, Rev- not Reverend,、uh, Dr. John Tamashiro. So,、uh, I'm not sure about Wailuku Church yet, but please join us. Thank you.